Hey everyone, in this video I am going to be reviewing and comparing these two Walmart hardtail mountain bikes. This is the Schwinn Alcomp and this is the Schwinn Boundary. They are both under $300, so I'll be reviewing them and comparing them. And I'll also be answering if you can really get a nice hardtail mountain bike from Walmart under $300. So let's get started with the Schwinn Boundary. This hardtail mountain bike from Walmart costs $300 without taxes. Now the frame on this bike is huge. It's aluminum and it's very large. Maybe large or extra large is the size. And if you have a frame this huge, you might as well put the seat up because you know that you will not be able to fit on this bike. It's for huge people. This part of the bike, as you can see, is staggered, which means that it has a cone shape, which is apparently a lot better than the universal uh, normal tube shape. It's cone shaped and it is also a lot stronger. This bike has a front suspension fork like all hard tails and this fork if I just lay on it it does not move. This fork we got from Walmart and I don't know what is wrong with it, what happened and how it happened, but this fork does not work like at all. It just does not do anything. The fork came defective and it's way too stiff. This bike has dual mechanical disc brakes. They're not hydraulic, they're just normal mechanical brakes and they do the job pretty well. It has a single Pro Rush 7 speed shifter right here. It can go up or go down and it operates this side with a Pro Rush, what you call this thing. There's only seven speeds on this. And as you can see, something that I really don't like, it only has one sprocket or cog, what do you call it, over here, which really limits the speed, actually. A lot of people actually prefer one single sprocket, but I don't because if you wanna use your bike for general use, like for road and for mountain and for trails and things like that, then you should not get a single sprocket because you cannot speed up to top speed at all and it limits the speed even if you put it to the very highest speed you can still like you still go very slowly some people might like it but i do not like the colors on the frame like it looks very childish this bright green with this white and the white on the rims and the white on the stickers that are everywhere it just looks very childish for such a big bike i would rather have it matte black like that one, it just looks like a tank. It looks a lot more aggressive. And this one just looks very childish for the huge frame that it has. The handlebars on this bike are very wide, which I do like. Look how wide this is, which provides a lot of control if you're on a trail and things like that. It's very easy to control. If you have a small uh, handlebar, then it's hard and it's not very safe either. Now the stem here, I do not really like it because of how long this part is. If you just look from the side, it awkwardly sticks out from this part, like it makes the handlebar stick out. And this is, I think, way too long, unnecessarily long. And which is why I prefer a short stem and I'd probably upgrade this stem to something that looks a little nicer. Now, when you spin this back, it makes a huge amount of noise. Just listen to this. Which is why if you're not pedaling, you're just roaring across the street and you're gonna wake all the neighbors up and get complaints and things like that. Now this part of here is really broken inside and kind of messy. Uh, this sprocket, the cogs are moving, which I don't know if it can be tightened or not. The bearings must be messed up as they always are. There's also a scratching background noise. You might not be able to hear it, but when I just turn it, there's like some stuff scratching around inside. And I'm not talking about the click either. And for the money, I do like that there is a kickstand. Look at that, and it is a pretty good kickstand. It sticks out from the side. It does the job. I'm surprised it has it for the money. Again, this is $300 and not $600. So for $300, I do like this bike. It is pretty much worth it because it's not $600 and it is a Walmart hardtail mountain bike. 
And since this bike is $300, you have a lot of money for upgrades if your budget is $500. Like, I would uh, upgrade the fork on here to an air fork that's adjustable and that actually works. So I don't have to uh, weigh 300 pounds to make this fork work. And um, you'll have to upgrade and fix this whole part right here, the core of this wheel, because it is pretty broken and it does not perform very well. But you have a lot of money for upgrades, which I would love to do. Let's get into the Schwinn Alcomp. It has the branding right here, Alcomp, and you may ask, what does that mean? And I think it stands for aluminum composition, which is questionable because I feel like all hardtail bikes are aluminum composition. Now, I like this bike a lot more. It performs a lot better. The fork on it actually works, but it has very little travel. I feel like this is 50 millimeters of travel. Well, you don't really need any more than that because of course it won't go any higher, uh, but it does the job. It works, unlike that one. The handlebars are comparable to that one, but I feel like this one is just a tiny bit shorter than that one. Of course, you can measure it if you want, but it's basically the same thing. This one is also pretty long. Uh, it has different shifters. These ones are easier to use. Uh, it has these easy, fast, accelerate, micro shift shifters that do the job. They perform well. However, this one is a little defective. It doesn't always work, uh, which controls this one right here. And it has a three ring. Um, now, it is better for general use. Uh, it's a 21 speed and this is a three by drive train. So you have a much bigger top speed unlike that one. And the physics behind it is that this cranker can be a lot bigger, which means you have a bigger top speed. It just has more power if it's bigger. And this frame is also aluminum, of course, because it's aluminum composition. And I like this bike because it is much more suitable for an average sized human, unlike that one, which is for gorillas. This one is actually usable and it's the right size. I like it. I think it's a medium frame. Now, let me just say the wheels on this one are 27.5 inch. And right here, it's 29 inch, which is not surprising because this bike is huge. 27.5, in my opinion, are better because you have more control and 29 are just way too big already. Like uh, these also weigh less, of course, because those are bigger. 27ers are just a bit more suitable for average size. 29 inch are just a bit overkill. Now something that you'll need to repair or change right away on this bike is the seat. It might look comfortable, but it is actually pretty uncomfortable. This is rock solid and these cushions are not very deep and they're on the side, so they don't work. Now on this bike, the seat is better. It is more comfortable, so it's actually usable, but I would recommend changing the seat on this one right away. Now like that bike, um, this chain doesn't make a huge amount of noise because I think the cassette is a different kind. Let me just spin the pedals. It does not make a huge amount of noise like that one. It works pretty well, but still you might need to upgrade it because it's a bit sketchy. The brakes are the same mechanical discs. They work just fine. And um, the fork does the job. Like I say, I would still upgrade this to an air fork uh, just because it would operate better. And this has very little travel, which might not be suitable for some people. The stem is the same long monstrosity. Uh, so it's very long, unnecessarily. Like I would remove this whole part and just put it right here so the handlebars don't lean forward like that. And um, this bike, like I said, costs 270, which is $30 less than that one. So you have a bit more room for upgrades. I would upgrade this bike. I also like how it looks, uh, looks awesome. The frame goes well with how the wheels are. And I really like it overall. I prefer this one a lot more than that one. That one just feels like a, 
a tank when you're riding in it, very uncomfortable. I really prefer this bike over that one. That one's a no, and this one's a go, because you can really upgrade this bike to become a real master, and I really like it. It performs very well if you don't get a defected one. So out of the box, this bike it becomes very nice. It is very usable with no upgrades. Like again, I would upgrade the stem. Um, they probably made it so that I would be uh, a bit like farther for the user. So their arms are a little bit more sporty. And I would happily upgrade the fork to an air fork, but it does work. It does the job. And I'd like to upgrade the seat, maybe the pedals to a grayish so that it matches the frame. The kickstand on it is one of the best parts of the bike. I mean, the bike itself is very nice. The kickstand is awesome. It makes no noise, like it's so smooth and it's very like quality and I feel how smooth it is and I and I put it down with confidence. Like it does it doesn't even make the bike fall. It uh, it per just performs very well. So in conclusion, you might ask, do I recommend these bikes for $300? This one, not really, but this one is an absolute yes, because I really like this one. So who is the winner? It, is it the Schwinn Boundary or the Schwinn Alcomp? It is, of course, the Schwinn Alcomp because I really like the color. Uh, number one, it is cheaper. The appearance is nicer. Um, number three, uh, a lot of the pieces are upgraded, like the shifters, and this one's micro shift, which is a lot better than pro rush, like on this one. So that's also a nice feature. Cock and screen. So I hope you all enjoyed. I hope this gave you the right opinion on which one you should choose, if it's the Alcomp or the Boundary. Of course, I like the Alcomp more. You may have different thoughts on some of the things I said. So, hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe, smash that like button, share this with you people, share this with everyone you know. Hope you all enjoyed. And the seat is way too big. That would, would have been a nice transition, but now I have to sit here. Share this with all the people you know. Thanks for watching.